If you've seen a deal or property on Property24, it's too late. Always spend a little bit of time understanding what the electricals look like in the property. What if I lost my job tomorrow? Where would I be? Like, what would I do? If you buy at a discount, you're buying equity straight off the bat. Now, this is where Dean's done quite a lot of renovations. Remember, you want to be giving a good quality product. That's what society's view on property investing is. Mm. But what we're standing in front of here today is something slightly different because here, you're making a profit from day one. So today we've got a really exciting case study. We're going to be looking at a deal in Turf Club, which is in the old south of Johannesburg. It's also a lower income area and it's got great multi-leds and buildings that uh, provide a good yield. And why today is a little bit more special than usual is because it's not a case study of my own deal, but rather a student's case study. A guy by the name of Dean who has bought um, two buildings in the last six months. Uh, he's joined my coaching program and he's uh, really excelled and he's shining. So brightly, so it's awesome. We're gonna go and look at his uh, block of four uh, duplex units. The really interesting thing about this deal, and I think why it stands out for me as something unique, is that he got 100% finance from the bank, which is very hard to do, it's almost unheard of, unless the building is sectionally titled. And, and I think that's why Dean's done such a good purchase here. Not only did he find a motivated seller and got it at a discount with a good yield, he bought a sectional title property and got 100% financing from the bank. So he's got very little of his own money in the deal. So here we are arriving at the property. Let's go and have a look inside. So we're gonna have a look at one of the vacant units. The condition is uh, quite an upgrade from what you usually see on my channel. This is one of the three bed duplexes and you can see it's in, it's in pristine condition. It's a brand new lick of paint, new tiles. Dean is a savvy investor and he knows that if he provides a good product, he's gonna attract a high quality tenant. We're gonna go through a bit of a case study on how this deal panned out. We're gonna have a look in the unit uh, and we're gonna have a quick chat with Dean just to find out where he started and where he aims to go. So Dean, you know, uh, I know you quite well, but the guys on YouTube don't. Do you wanna just share with us, you know, your profession and, and why you're interested in property? Yeah, sure, Lawrence. So I am a software engineer by trade. Been in the industry for about just almost 14 years now. I decided to get into property because I've got quite a demanding job. And I had a bit of a, like we all had the, the COVID-19 experience in 2020 where people were uncertain about their careers. And I saw a few friends get retrenched and like I also had a major issue at work and a bit of drama. And I'm, I actually thought for a second like, what if I lost my job tomorrow? Where would I be? Like, what would I do? What if I don't get another job? What if the IT industry changes, like all other industries? What if it's a bubble? And I thought, okay, what are, what are my options where I can do like a, a secondary source of income? So I looked around and I was like, okay, I always heard of an uncle, an aunt, a cousin, this, that, who has a property in Four Ways, Bryanson, Lone Hill, Santon, all your affluent areas. And I thought, okay, I've got affordability, then we maybe buy flats, like start out with a flat, see how it goes. So I looked at Fairlands because it's an area where my grandparents grew up and my parents, so I know that area quite well. So I had the, the two properties, very good tenants, still, still there today, paying, uh, but I was in the negative of, I think, just over 4,000 Rand every month. But I was like, no, nah, this sure. is not a problem. Because uh, your affordability was exactly. strong, right? So I was like, maybe that's how you do it. You buy a property, you get knocked a bit with affordability where you have to just top up, but at least these tenants are covering the majority of my bond. So I was like, and, I, and, and yeah. sorry to interrupt you guys, but that is that is what society's impression of property investing is. They say to do a good deal, buy in the right area, location, location, location. You'll get appreciation, you'll get a good tenant, etc. That's what society's view on property investing is. Mm. But what we're standing in front of here today is something slightly different because here you're making a profit from day one. So we're starting here, as you walk into the house, you've got a, a relatively large lounge area. I assume that this is where the TV would be. And here's where the dining room is with a nice um, link into the kitchen. This is very, very old school. I know in my grandmother's house, she had something like this, you know, now you've got open plan kitchens, you knock this over and everything's open. But this just shows you the, I guess the age of the building. You're probably looking at 40, 40 years plus. So you are, you are obviously, you know, worried about retrenchment, you were stuck with some negative cash flow deals and you were probably looking for an alternative model or an alternative approach. Um, so how did, how did you get in contact with me then? 
So funny enough, like I mentioned, those two deals, literally, I, I said to Lawrence earlier, either on the day or a few days after transfer went through for those two properties in Fairlands, I saw one of Lawrence's videos. And I was like, wait a minute, you mean you can purchase properties, pay for all your expenses, and have little, uh, like a bit of money at the end of every month? And the better you do a deal, the more money you can have. So the affordability you use to buy the property, you can cover all expenses and actually increase your, your, your affordability. I was like, well, I didn't actually know this was possible. Sure. And then I was like, he was going on, I don't know if it was one of his case studies or looking at a property in the South. And I was like, okay. And he's talking about great areas like Forest Hill, uh, Kenilworth, Turf and T and I'm like, sorry, what? I'm like, I grew up in that area. I went to school. I lived there. I was like, this is my hood. <laughs> I'm like, this guy's coming from Cape Town and he's telling you about good deals where I grew up. I was like, no, Dean, you're missing something here. And as you walk through, we've got the kitchen. Now, this is where Dean's done quite a lot of renovations. Remember, you want to be giving a good quality product and most of your renovations tend to happen in your bathroom and your kitchen. So the kitchen was in pretty much this condition, but what he did is he took the wood off the tabletops and put uh, granite because it's more durable. It's longer lasting, wood tends to get moldy. You put in a new stove. Uh, you can just see by the general uh, level of quality that he's got here that you have to provide a good quality stove. Uh, uh, um, a portable stove would not work in this kind of market. And then he's put in a brand new sink, which is great. You've also got your DB board. Always spend a little bit of time understanding what the electricals look like in the property. You've got your prepaid electrical meter. And then what Dean's also done, which I think is phenomenal, is he's done a water meter. So not only is his electricity prepaid, meaning the tenant has to pay then play, he's done that for his water as well. So at the end of the month, he doesn't have to go chasing his tenants for electricity usage and water usage. They pay and then use. Next, we've got uh, the downstairs bathroom, which is really just a sink and a toilet. And, uh, and how did you find this deal? So firstly, if you've seen a deal or property on Property24 or private property, it's too late. <laughs> Nine times out of 10, it's too late, right? This deal came from networking with estate agents. So I spoke to a lot of estate agents in the area. I spoke to key guys that I liked and I, I kind of said, okay, when you when it meets a certain criteria that I'm looking for, reach out to me. So, so you're getting the stock mm. before it goes to Property24, directly yes, through the correct. source. I like that. Correct. Yeah. Because the rapport I created with the estate agents and they saw I was real because also a lot of people in the segment, because uh, a lot of these typical deals of commercial finance where you need quite a bit of capital. So guys will come and they'll see these offers on 24 and waste the estate agents time mm. and they'll just say, yeah, I've got the affordability, I've got this. And then that ends up being an eight week process. And then it's a waste of time because that deal's locked in from the OTP. So it has to start all over yeah. again yeah. where they know they already have my pre-approval. They know what I'm about. They know my affordability. So, so they know the deal. If it meets my criteria, it's likely to work. Mm. So like my criteria typically is four to six units. So your multi lets uh, typically two bed per unit or three bed, minimum two. I find with one bed, it doesn't promote families. Yeah. You get more your single bachelors which then ups the delinquency, or they'll try to convert a balcony into yeah. a second bedroom. And I know it's done and it's not really policed, but it's actually legal. I like to do things by the book. So the two, three bed promotes a property, proper mm. family home, because wherever there's kids and parents, it tends to be more stable when, when you're getting yeah. rental in that. And another criteria that we spoke a lot about in the, in the coaching and something that I always advise is to buy at a discount, mm. right? If you buy at a discount, you're buying equity straight off the bat. So what was the, what was the motivation of the seller here that got you the juicy discount? Yeah, so, so unfortunately the seller's not too healthy and doesn't really have the energy to continue maintaining these properties or, or watch them because he was personally managing them. He wasn't doing it through an agency and he was quite old. So that was his motivation. He just wanted to get it off his portfolio. He wanted to take the cash and just start start settling down. Un unfortunately, that's, that's, that, that, that's the tough part of this industry is that we deal with people who are going through financial difficulties, divorce, health problems, because you only get discounts from people who are distressed or are going through a tough time. But in your case, you were probably able to help them with a decent offer, you took away their property problem, and now he can at least retire in, in peace. Let's go upstairs to the bedrooms. The, the, the duplex environment that we're in now is not very common. 
uh, you know, usually you've got more your flats, but this duplex um, scenario worked really well in Dean's favor because these properties are all sectionalized, meaning he was able to get bank, competitive bank finance, very important. So this is the first room. And what's really important in bedrooms, especially for attracting good tenants, is to have nice built-in cupboards. And you can see that these have been recently renovated, clean, well looked after. Now we're going to the other two rooms on the right here. Same kind of thing, it's the same size as the previous room. Also has built-in cupboards, also has a decent view. And then we've got the third bedroom. Now this is the only bedroom that's a little bit smaller. So you're probably gonna put you know, your child or the uncle, the aunt, or the third family relative, the least favorite child you'll put into this room. You probably have enough space for a small single bed and a desk. And again, built-in cupboards, which is, is a big pro for your tenant. And finally, we have the bathroom, the upstairs bathroom. Uh, so we've got a shower, we've got a bath, toilet, and a sink. So because of the motivation of this seller, you got a nice juicy discount. Do you mind sharing with us how much that was? Yeah, 38%. So, so yeah. 38% discount to market value. Yeah. So like I even felt a little uncomfortable doing it, but I read, I don't know, it was, what I, I can't remember the name of the book, but I read a book. If you don't feel uncomfortable giving an offer, then your offer's too high. So obviously you got the discount, which is great. And I'm assuming that from a yield perspective, this thing is attractive because that's why we invest in this area. Um, so what is the yield on this property? Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm currently getting 20%, which is quite good. High, anything above 15, you know you're either netting or getting good cash flow. Uh, typically this kind of area, what's it like 17 to 9? Yeah, I would have said. I, th I think you've done well here because you've got duplex properties, which is higher value. And so, I mean, your risk is lower here, but your yield is still comparable to what you're getting in mm -hmm. your higher risk area. So no, you've done a good job. So Dean, we're 12 months into our coaching program. It feels like we've known each other a lot longer. Um, what's your experience been uh, through this program and, and would you recommend it to others looking to achieve the same results that you've got? Mm. So I've, I've, to be honest, I've had an excellent experience. The reason for that is from day one, Lawrence has been transparent. He hasn't tried to sell me snake oil. He hasn't hidden anything away from me. He's shown me maths, pro key processes to do, and they do work. Like you can see around, as long as you're diligent and work hard and you stick to your guns, you will do very well. And <clears throat> that's, that's obviously one of the key things because there are, there are a lot of scam artists and supposing gurus out there that you see. So you've got to be very careful. But Lawrence being so transparent and like I said, giving so much away in even his free YouTube videos shows that the guy's just trying to educate and help people financially. And the key thing is, <clears throat> obviously Lawrence says 12 months, but Truth be told, our coaching sessions ended months ago, but we still have catch-ups, we still have online chats. I can still go to him and message him randomly at night on, uh, I've got this deal, how can you help me with this? And he's willing to do it. Where I've, I've tried out some guys in the past, and you, let's say you pay for an hour session, 59 minutes, they're like, okay, I'm done now. That, that's it. If it's one minute over, they start charging you, which is just ridiculous. At the end of the day, a coach is, it's about a relationship, right? Mm. It's, not, it's not just this transactional thing of getting information out. You have to build relationships with these individuals. And Lauren sees us at that. Yes, he's paying for a service, rightfully so he should, because he offers a premium service and he's giving expertise, thus he should be remunerated for it. But he, do, he goes above and beyond. And that, that's a key thing for me because you need guys like Lawrence with experience to support you in these kind of things. Thanks, man. So thank you. That was very nice. So guys, if you want to know more about my coaching program and join the program that Dean has um, uh, just spoken about, click the link below to find out more.